في العلا والمجد أشرف رتبة بمبدأ بمبدأه حار الخلق كيف انتقاموا أيا سيدي أيا وطرفي بعد الدمع تجري دماء In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Thanks to Allah, who taught man that which he did not know. And may Allah Bestow his peace and blessings upon Muhammad, our Prophet, peace be upon him, the best guidance and honest teacher to all humanity, and blessings upon his pure and truthful kin and his loyal companions. Furthermore, gratitude to Ikra Channel is due for presenting such programs aimed at shedding light on the great aspects of our Prophet Muhammad's peace be upon him biography and for focusing on these signs that bring his blessed life closer to us and especially to the youth for Allah the Almighty chose him taught him and brought him up well to be the example for humanity. Moreover, in this program, we shall live in the Blessed Garden and expand on our Part 1 al Rauda Sharifa. Previously, we spoke about the Honorable Prophetic Rauda and discussed that part about what took place there and what was established. Places pillared and columns this is the pillar of aisha may allah be pleased with her therefore these new episodes differ from the first ones as they will focus on the events that took place in al rauda why because al rauda was the first school in islam through which we received the teachings of the Prophet to his companion. May Allah bless him and grant him peace. Rauda has its uniqueness because when we look into it to the sides of Al Rauda Sharifa, here we see Al Rauda that the Prophet, may Allah bless him and grant him peace, told us about. Narrated Abu Huraira, the Prophet said, There is a garden from the gardens of paradise between my house and my pulpit, and my pulpit is on my lake fount, Al Kalthar. The Prophet used to, peace be upon him, live with his companions in the Al Rauda. Those glorious days where he taught them and where they lived through magnificent events that occurred in Al Rauda and in the Mosque of the Holy Prophet. In these episodes, we want to focus on those events that happened in Al Rauda and learn from them. Why? Because he is the example and guide, and to learn how he taught his companions, how he treated them. And how he welcomed visiting delegates in Al Rauda. What took place? How did he treat his pure and truthful kin? How did he deal with his companions? 
what was revealed of great morals in al rauda al sharifa and we take from each side a portrait from all the glorious portraits to focus on here the prophet gathered with his companions here he read the quran to them here he taught them the quran here he spoke to them peace be upon him in hadiths which he narrated on behalf of allah the almighty which are called al hadith al qudsi as ordained in the sharia quotes and here he spoke to them the hadiths that were recited by the trusted companions of the holy prophet peace be upon him and those who followed them therefore when we say it was recited by the companions it shows that they all were trustworthy men that gathered around him and were loyal to the pledge they took the quotes of the hadith took different forms until they attained to us with god's grace and so here we want to discuss al rauda we start with a pivotal point which is the arrival of the prophet to al medina migrating from mecca here we come to a crucial point which is when the prophet peace be upon him entered this place where allah the almighty wanted it to choose the area specifically for the mosque the prophet was riding his camel and when the people of al medina followed happily each wanting the prophet's home to be in his house or land but the prophet kept silent peace be upon him and he ordered to leave the camel be for it was ordained meaning allah the almighty specifically chose the holy place whoever witnessed this event would know it was the almighty's faith allah the almighty chose this place and prepared it and led the holy prophet to it therefore this place has its uniqueness being the prophet's mosque the second mosque after al haram mosque do not prepare yourself for a journey except to these three mosques al masjid al haram the mosque of al aqsa in jerusalem and my mosque so this mosque has its exceptionality during the choosing and the building everyone hurried to aid in removing the trees and the stones that were in the area they started to build and here we learn a valuable lesson from the holy prophet peace be upon him when we watch movies about this glorious event we notice that the holy prophet peace be upon him didn't stand watching the companions built but he carried out worked with them and built with them and worked with them we feel when we talk about al rauda al sharifa that this mosque in its beginning and in the beginning of the building the holy prophet assisted his companions to build it and that shows god's will at cooperation and to the call for cooperation so he set the example you are ahead of my parents O oh, Messenger of Allah. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to carry the stones and the cement on his back. And he built the walls of the mosque, and his companions surround him as they felt excited and shy if they did not put their best efforts and they kept chanting that it was 
our job to build the mosque until it was completed. Even when he dismounted, dismounted of the camel, he settled in a place that was chosen by Allah the Almighty. So the Prophet built the mosque in a specific area. Here we learn this. The Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, is with a vision from Allah. And he disciplined his companions. And he took them by the hand, taught them all about true life. And he was their leader and example in every attribute. And in this program and throughout the coming episodes, we will introduce the attributes and aspects of the mosque and the Rauda al-Sharifa. We witness how every event makes us feel that the Prophet, peace be upon him, was example to his companions, therefore an example to the nation. Whoever wants to follow the Prophet, peace be upon him, must follow the same guidance which he learns as it came in the Quran and Sunnah of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and to learn how to start true work as the Prophet, peace be upon him, did, how he had mercy upon those who surrounded him and with those whom he helped. That part that we will talk about in this episode and which we started today is in the gracefulness of Arauda Sharifa. Throughout these episodes, we chose different events or attributes to shed light upon it. As we said, this is how the mosque was built. This is how the movement occurred after the immigration. After he prayed, he arrived to the Medina. And the Muslims of Medina were very pleased to have him. And Al-Ansar had their great moment, and children chanted the glorious anthem, Welcome, Holy Prophet, saying the full moon has shined on us. They expressed their joy. And the immigrants who left their families and children, and they sacrificed everything as they immigrated with the Holy Prophet. Here we find in this meeting, in this place, in the Holy Medina, through the mosque in al Rauda, we witness the glorious brotherhood in Islam. How pleased they were at the arrival of the Holy Prophet, peace be upon him, and brethren of the immigrants. How was the welcoming? How was the happiness completed? How did every Ansari share anything with the immigrant? Some of them even offered, if he had many wives, to divorce one of them so the other would marry, or give him some money, or give all these sacrifices came from our Prophet, peace be upon him's teachings. And when we are introduced to these events, a wonderful picture emerges of the life of the Holy Prophet, his companions in this honorable prophetic Rauda. So, the guidance of Allah the Almighty, who obeys the Holy Prophet, has indeed obeyed Allah. Obey the Holy Prophet and obey Allah. If you love Allah, then follow me. Allah will love you. And so the companions heard the glorious Quran admit to obey Allah and His Prophet, peace be upon him, in their hearts, in their effort, in their minds, in all the power that was given to them. The sacrificed everything to please Allah and His Prophet, peace be upon him. Here in this program, we will see that when we come closer, we see landmarks worthy to be stopped at, which in this prophetic mosque and this router to be specific, Prophet, peace be upon him, did not make it a place to pray. Although it was built, the Prophet commanded Bilal to the Adhan after Allah's permission. So Bilal called the prayer and kept calling, and our Prophet calls him, peace be upon him, 
settle our souls down. With it means by the call to the prayer. Here we notice important issues in the casing of Al Rauda. The Prophet, peace be upon him, did not make Al Rauda a place to pray only, or to read the Quran, or to memorize the Quran, or to understand the Quran. But he made it a place for full doings and the full motions and intimations and the movements of the activism. Here he used to sit and talk to his companions and arrange things and lead armed confrontations. Here he used to listen to whoever wanted to speak. Here he used to meet with the young and the old alike. Here he used to meet the poor and seek to be generous to them. So, in our discussion of Al Rauda Asharifa, in the next episodes, we will see those portraits and learn from them that whoever built a mosque for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and knew that fortune, whom Allah gave him that fortune, it is not enough to build the mosque, but also taking care of it and choose well who leads the prayers and he leads the people in prayer and let these arrangements inside the mosque. It has Quran lessons and lessons to introduce Islam and quotes from what had happened in the honorable prophetic Al Rauda. This meaning of the mosque, because the Prophet's mosque, peace be upon him, is a center of focus. And from here, we notice an important point that all the mosques from east to west must take what happened in the honorable prophetic Rauda as guidance because the Prophet, peace be upon him, met the delegations here. Here he met them. Here he arranged some of the battles. Here he met and listened to people and their problems. Here he arbitrated justly between rivals. Here he welcomed the people and invited them to Islam. Here he met non-Muslims from Najran Christians when they came to him. Here he teaches us, peace be upon him, that mosques are for Allah and that the moral of having faith in Allah the Almighty is not to worship anyone else with Allah, but with taking guide from our Prophet, peace be upon him. What did he do in Al Rauda Sharifa? In the gracefulness of Al Rauda Sharifa. And why did this activity happen? To teach us. So we can teach our children after us that mosques must take from that portrait of what happened in the Honorable Prophetic Arauda and how to make mosques places for Islamic invitation. The Imam prays in it and a man calls to the prayer. Then the teacher sits and teaches children the Quran. Then after that, Every time we get a chance, we take it to have a spokesman speaks to the people and gets closer to them and brings them closer to the Prophet's biography and Islamic sciences and not to pressure them. If they were children, he would speak to them in simple language that they would understand easily. If they were questioning people, we would answer them and to make his voice as soothing as possible because the prophet peace be upon him taught us that pleasant voice is something that people would want to hear when listening to the quran and then study and think deeply in the quran all that happened happened in the honorable prophetic rauda and it became our landmark and that is why 
we made these episodes to see what had happened in al Rauda, in the life of the Prophet, peace be upon him, how the companions gathered around him and how they learned from him and how they took from his morals and how he is proud. Allah has brought me up well. When we discuss all these things, and when we visit the Prophet's mosque, peace be upon him, and offer peace to him, and walk in Rauda's corners, we have to remember all the great events that occurred in Rauda. Here the Prophet, peace be upon him, stood. Here he taught the companions. Here he taught Quran to them. Here he taught them Hadith. Here these are all things that teaches us how to treat our lives, our mosques, and all our encounters from what had occurred in Al Rauda, because it was the first school that the companions were taught in. As we said, Al Rauda is the first school that the companions were taught in. May Allah bless them. And they taught who came. After them, what the Prophet, peace be upon him, taught them. We saw great generosity of Allah the Almighty that taught our Prophet, peace be upon him. Therefore, we take the Prophet, peace be upon him, as our leader and our guide. And we talk about what had occurred in Al Rauda from. Quran that he taught to his companions, how he taught them the Quran, how he made them memorize the Quran, how he wrote the Quran, how he wrote the Hadith. All these things we will show in these episodes and will shed light on the events that happened in Al Rauda and on Hadith that were narrated by the companions in Al Rauda. We ask Allah to help us shed light upon it in next episodes. And we ask Allah to aid us to all that is good. And may Allah bestow His blessings and peace upon Prophet Muhammad and his pure kin. And peace, blessings, and mercy be upon you. Fu'adi.